Customizing your invoice. So in this video, I'm going to take you through how we can customize your invoices so that when you print them, you have certain information on them and you can change that information around. So let's get started. First of all, let's go into the invoice module and then up on the toolbar, let's select all. I just want to show you what one invoice currently will look like when we print. So double clicking and then at the top right here, preview before print and then click on print invoice. Right here on the print preview, you can see how your invoice is going to come out. So you've got your logo and your information about your company. Um, and then you've got your transaction line items right here. And then you've got your message at the bottom and your footnote. So that's what it currently looks like. So how can we change this? How can we customize this? So let's just exit out for a moment. And then we're going to go back a little bit. So I'm going to review what we actually covered in a previous video. If you go up into your uh, toolbar, click on File. Go down to your client preferences and then select the computer that you're on and then edit on your toolbar. You'll see that you've got your client preferences um, window come up that we entered in probably at the beginning of your business when you're setting everything up because this is where you can select which printer you're going to print to. So you've got your receipt printer right here and then you can also select your invoice receipt format. So right now we have it to our thermal logo but if you click in this field you can actually change that. I'll show you just quickly what that looks like. We just change it and we can click on save. Let's just go back into our invoice and then just quickly print invoice. You'll see that slightly the format has changed because we've selected a different template. So you've got a little bit of a wider uh, information across the top and you've got a different um, footnote at the bottom and a customer signature required right here. So let's just exit out and let's go back into our client preferences and let's just change that back to the one that we had it on so we've got thermal logo and then save you'll also remember uh, before as well in another video we changed the footnote the personalized footnote that was in each invoice if we can do that again I will show you now it's down in our server preferences so our server preferences will change every single invoice so it will have this custom footnote message printed on all of your receipts whereas what we change on the client so, um, sorry what we change on the yeah the client preferences will only affect the um, till or the cash register that you're um, actually in on so up here on our general tab we have our custom footnote message on printed receipts so currently it says please verify your receipt and currency before leaving the counter so that's where we can change and edit this information so what we can do is let's let's add something to it right now. So let's say it's the holiday season and we want to add a little bit of an extra note. So I'm just going to add in this extra note. Hope you have a happy holiday season and then a promotion that you might be offering at the bottom as well. So let's click on save settings. And then let's go back into this invoice. Let's print invoice. And you'll see that we've gone back to our um, original template, so a little bit of a smaller logo and um, information at the top. And at the bottom we have our footnotes, so we also have the information that I just added, except you can see that you can't quite see the promotion piece that I put in as well. That's because we need to actually go in and alter some of these fields, the size of the, these fields. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So let's just exit out and then you need to go up onto your toolbar again and select admin go down to customize printed receipt and then we need to select the uh, invoice um, template that we have that we're using so we're using the thermal logo so selecting right here and then click on customize receipt now that we're on this page you'll see that you've got your basic layout of your invoices your receipts that you have You've got a toolbar across the top. So let's just take a look at it's a little bit closer. So we'll click on Zoom. And so right now it's set up with your company logo and all of your company information. So that is called your header. So everything above this line is your header. Then you've got your details. So everything above this detail line is your amount, your rates, your service fees, everything that you have printed on every receipt coming through. And then you also have your footer, so we've got the receipt footnote, and then we've also got the standard powered by currency exchange of 4D. 
So you see that when we were printing the invoice before, the footnote didn't quite fit onto um, the invoice because this field isn't big enough. If you select it, you can see the size that it is right now. So we need to make this a bit bigger. What we can do is just simply clicking on the arrows, dragging that down. We're now making that a bit bigger. So now I need to move down my break and my footer as well. So I can do that by clicking and dragging down. So now you also notice that this will now be in the way, so we need to move this. So let's select it, so it's you can see that it's selected, and then hold down shift and then use your arrows. And you'll notice that you can move that down. So now your C, let's take that just a little bit higher. There we go. So now it's a little bit bigger and we've moved down the um, bottom footnote as well. So scroll up. What we do across the toolbar is need to click on save. So clicking on save, I'm just going to show you quickly what that looks like. So going back into your invoice and then print invoice, you will see down the bottom the piece that we changed has now allowed to fit in the rest of the information that I just added in our server preferences. So it's the extra promotion that I put down the bottom as well as the hope you have a happy holiday season. Okay, so what else can we do? Let's exit out and then we go back up to our toolbar and to admin, customize printed receipt. We select our template which is thermal logo and then click on customize receipt. So you can also add images so let's just add one just for this demonstration. Let's say um, that we're going to add a Christmas image at the bottom of your um, every invoice. Now you can look up you can look up images on Google online and just um, simply drag them in. I just happen to have one on my desktop right now. So I'm just going to open my image and I'm going to select the size I want. And I'm just going to Command C, so I'm going to copy, then click on my invoice template and Command V. Now you see it's very big, so what we can do is actually shrink that. So let's do that. Resizing it can make it quite small. And then we can move it, so we just need to click on it and we can move where we want this image to be. I'm just going to zoom back in again so I can have a little bit more of a closer look. And I'm going to make him even smaller so that we can still fit our footnote in as well. So I'm going to pull him down a little bit and you'll notice that he covers up the writing powered by Currency Exchanger 4D. What we can do as well is we can actually play around with um, the layers. So we've got this is in the background. We can go up to our toolbar and select on this button right here. And it just um, allows you to move that image to the front, move it to the back, up one level, down one level. So let's move it to the front and you'll see that it's actually come through over the top of the image because the image is now back one layer as well. So you can either do that or we can actually just move the image up just a little bit. And there you have it. So let's just save that and just take a quick look at what that looks like in our invoice. So going to print invoice again and then scrolling to the bottom you see that we've now got our customized footnote with our image and then also you can still read the Powered by Currency Exchanger 4D at the bottom. So that's great. I'm going to take you back into um, the customization again one more time. So up on your toolbar and admin and then click on customize printed receipt select your template and then click customize. So I'm just going to show you a couple more things that we can do. So if you want to we can actually um, take out some of these fields. It's not really recommended to change these around too much because you don't want your invoices to be all different and showing different information so you really want to keep a lot of this standardized but just in case I will show you how to do that. Anything um, that you don't want to show you can't actually delete off of this template but if you don't want it to print you just need to drag it down to beneath the footer. As soon as you do that 
it won't actually appear on the invoice anymore. So that's how you remove fields if you need to. So you can just drag it down below your footer line. Now say we don't want to do any of this um, to the invoice anymore. What we can do is revert back to factory settings. So up on your toolbar you've got this button right here. And that is how you revert everything back to factory settings. If you just want to undo what you just did, you can simply just Command Z and you will undo exactly what you just did. But if you want to revert everything back to the way it was before, that's this button. So I'm going to do that. And it just wants to ask me if that's um, OK. So yes. And you'll see everything has gone back to the way it was before. So I can just um, simply save this. And then go up into our print invoice. And you'll see that everything has gone back to the way it was before. Obviously, apart from the custom note, because we set that in our server preferences. So that's set for every single invoice, no matter what. And then exit out. So just to quickly recap what we just went through. So I showed you how to, again, go into your client preferences and just select your printer and then your um, receipt format. I then took you into your server preferences and showed you how to um, add or change, modify your custom footnote message. I then took you into your admin, customize printed receipt, and showed you how to move fields, remove fields, um, change uh, the size of your field, add images, um, all to your uh, printed invoice template.